Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Des Reacts back with another video, man. In this one, we got Ross and the Royal Irish Regiment get flanked by the Taliban. Uh, Ross Kemp, Extreme World. You guys know Ross Kemp's a crazy dude, and he gets himself into crazy situations. So you already know this is about to be a wild one, man. So please smash that like button if you haven't. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and let me know in the comments your thoughts and feelings on this video. If you guys like these videos, and guys, get to my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. That's how you guys could re uh, request videos for me to react to, and I could get to it pretty quick, right? And we could chat on a personal level. Um, but yeah, man, this is gonna be pretty good. I'm not gonna hold y'all no longer. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, yeah, Ross and the Royal Irish Regiment get flanked by a Taliban. Let's see how they get out of it. This video's about to be crazy. That boy running. Dang, look at them. Look at those boys in that trench, man. That's some good cover fire that they're giving. Um, this is putting your perspective of Ross Kemp, right? He's unarmed. Um, a news guy, right? Gets coverage. He's filming the war, which has been a job since you know World War Two, right? World War One, probably, where you just have guys, you know, recording the events happening, and somehow they don't die, and it's pretty amazing. It's yours, Malcolm. Fight's yours. You crack on. Okay, so the two commanders are uh, happy. You can see the enemy. He knows what he's got to do. Yeah. But just learn to crack on. Trying to call in some uh, air and aviation so, right to support uh, and uh, a fire mission on the way as well. Uh, so when the UK calls in fire missions and stuff, do they use, um, you know, their own air support? Or I know a lot of times it'll be like jointed where, you know, they'll call in air support and then like a US, you know, Apache helicopter or gunship, something like that. AC-130 will come and fly and give them cover. Or do they have a lot of you know, their own air support. Let me know in the comments. Up as far as uh, that guy's fine. Go no further. Okay. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. Okay, you see the sign here? Okay, mate. All right, Jay. Just get your head down, baby. Come down the bar. That's the baby. Is there probably one of those moments where Ross Kemp's like, and the boy and his boy re, with the camera is probably like, what we get ourselves into, right? Like there's bullets flying over their head, they're taking fire, but you know they just got to keep their composure, right? They can't be dead weight to the soldiers fighting around them. Definitely incoming going overhead. Someone's got eyes on us. What kind of gun does the Irish regiment use? Let me know in the comments. Look at this. What in the? That boy crazy. That's got to be like a normal Afghani troop or something like that. It gotta be right. This boy just standing up, not aiming, hit firing. Is he a Gurkha? That boy's a demon, boy. He built different. We're now taking incoming from three different firing positions. The Irish are calling it. That's a man that does not care to die. Like that dude that was standing right there. Like I heard like from documentaries I've seen and stuff and just like podcasts and stuff. Some soldiers, you know, they're just so, you know, battle hardened. Like they get to the point where they'll just walk out and, you know, if they get hit, they get hit. Like they'll just walk out and start shooting, you know, at the enemy and 
it gets to a point where they don't really care if they live or die, but then apparently they like snap back into it. But that dude's crazy though, just for standing up, no cover like that. In artillery support. Uh, Roger, we're uh, currently in a trench. We've got a compound to our uh, east and up and fields to our west of us. A right of 100, a drop of 150, repeat. That's the ANA up there laying off. Artillery have been called for. Uh, you got time on that? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Hey, hey, hey! This boy is crazy. Eight kilometers away at Fob Edinburgh, the artillery are adjusting their sights. Elevation 185 miles. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? Like, just the communication, like the radios and stuff, just how they could communicate so precise, so quickly, and so efficiently. Like, that's life and death, right? For some, some units. Like, it's incredible that, that they could you know, communicate exact coordinates and set things to like exact. So it's going to hit that exact spot. Hey. Oh, splash south of target. Good hit. Nods his head. <laughs> I don't care, man. If you're on the receiving end of that, you're, you got to get a new, new pair of pants, man. Like that's tough. Those are some big shells. They're just lighting up where they think they might be. Ooh. That was close. Five rounds coming in on three. Number five. Ah! There you go. That's happening. Just a 150 meters in front of us. There it is there. Up on five two alpha. Up on five two Charlie. That shot on there. A compound three of them. Here comes the artillery. Ooh. That's crazy. Back in the ops room, they coordinate the airstrike. Six zero alpha, six zero alpha, widow, five zero pressure. Fast air coming in onto the building to our south, so expect a big bang. Uh oh. Uh, just over there, fast air's been called in, it's gonna drop a 500 pound bomb on it. That's so fast air, let me know in the comments, is that like, is that a fighter jet coming in, dropping a big bomb, or is it like a bomber, helicopter? Let me know. Smoke is uh, identifying our position to the air. I guess we're gonna find out, right? Fighter jet. <laughs> oh, that sounded massive. with a 500 pounder. So we just had a 500 pounder. They say if you hear the jet, You weren't the you weren't the target, man. You weren't the target. That's crazy because sometimes those things will shoot. You know, at least the American ones, they'll shoot missiles from like you know five ten miles out. So it'll hit it by the time they fly over it. That's crazy. That was a big bomb. That I bet you that building's leveled. I'm going there. The smoke's still lifting up from it. And we've had five one oh six one oh fives going in there right now. Number six. Here we go. There comes more. These boys yeah, playing video games. Reveals the enemy in a compound about 150 meters to the south of us. In order to engage them, we have to push further south. Oh, that's a round. Which one? Really? Oh. Roger that. Rounds again, close. The ANA are trying to secure the compound to our left, and we're still taking incoming, so we have to move fast. Really? Come come down. Are they in the compound? Yeah. What's happening? Obviously, because the fire fire mission's come in so close. There is shrapnel um, hitting the walls. Over to our left. It's that close where shrapnel's flying and hitting the walls from their bombs that are being dropped.
That's crazy. That's something you don't really think about, right? Like the shrapnel going, you know, I don't know how far that is from him, like 300 yards or something like that. Maybe farther. That's crazy. It's powerful. Number six. Five. Go. We initially came under contact from one, two, and three. Yeah. We, sus we suspected the enemy was in there. That's why we ran across that open ground initially, if you remember, and we got engaged. Yeah. That's very well suppressed now, and we think actually they've moved out of there and are pushing back down to the south towards yeah. 28. Okay. okay, right, we're going to move now into the compound. They've cleared the compound. Uh, that'll give us a bit more cover. I'm getting tired of this guy just standing up shooting why most people if they have a big lmg like that they'll lay on the ground and give suppressing fire while people are moving behind them i'm about i'm about sick of that guy hold on let me yeah i don't like you bro Well done, John. Well done, mate. Come in. So, Dave, sit rep. We're currently all in compound seven. Yeah. And the enemy are in compound four and to the south. Right. So, gap about 100 meters. To attempt to silence the enemy, more fast air is called in. We've got an OMLT patrol supporting the Afghan National Army who pushed out from the old USPB into the village of Dagyan, uh, which has been a bit of a no man's land, a bit of to and fro between us and the Taliban. They came into contact from two firing points to the south and southwest, and we engaged the firing point on the southwest with 105mm. Dang! To the south with a 500 pound bomb from an aircraft. As that all started going quiet, the USPB came into contact from uh, a position just off to the southeast, which we know as Taliban Crossroads, onto which we understand they're now about to drop another 500 pound bomb. Amber 1 to Charlie, Amber 1 to Alpha, confirm, I require that. So, did he just say that the US dropped another 500 pound bomb on them? That's crazy. After they just got, you know, they asked to spank by. By the Irishmen, right? Like they got their, you know, the Taliban tried flanking them, got their ass to spank. Then the U.S. said, "Hey, we're not done. Let's tag team this joint." Dropped another 500 pound bomb. Don't fight the West, man. Target to be destroyed. Engage now. Over. The uh, Taliban are retreating in that general direction, and I think that the idea of the fast air will cut them off. There's a crossroads over there. You can hear him up above us now. Oh. Day. <laughs> Look at that explosion. Oh, man. Look at that bomb. Last second. Sorry. Watch. Do you see it go across the screen right there? That's a big bomb. Whoever's there, dead. Whoever they're hitting, leveled. I mean, that's... Look at that bomb. Holy... Shoot. That's where the enemy were exiting uh, battle zone. It's just gone down on them. Dang. This is Ramadan. Everybody thinks that the soldiers uh, from Taliban have stopped fighting. That's a clear indication that they haven't. Um, and... Um, yeah, it was emotional. Uh, pretty close. So uh, it's time now the guys are checking their weapons. They're counting the link, the amount of rounds that have gone through the weapons. Look at them yeah, shaking. Time to consolidate now. Look at them shaking, man. So literally, like, think about all the adrenaline that's pumping through them during their, you know, engagements, right? Like, they have so much adrenaline and once it's all over for a little bit, when you got time to, you know, rest, like it's so stressful that when it drains, like you literally just start shaking. It's crazy, but you still got a job to do, and they still got to count their rounds and reload all that good stuff. Yeah. Everyone's looking at their ammunition, taking in water. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Wow, that was a cool video, man. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Let me know your guys' thoughts and feelings on this video. 
Thought this was a pretty sweet video. Shout out to the Irish Regiment, Royal Irish Regiment, sorry, and Ross Kemp, man. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.